I'm Christine Hughes. I'm a co-owner of the Village Bakery and Catalyst Cafe and Delazona Restaurants in Athens, Ohio. I came from uh, Rockville, Maryland, which is right outside of DC. I live in Athens County because it's the most beautiful part of Ohio. It's familiar to me in the low, hilly way that those places where I've lived, Virginia. I really love how easy it is to be yourself here. Um, I don't find that I have to uh, try to fit in. There are just so many people doing their own thing, but together as a community. Um, just feels really comfortable. It took a long time to come to the decision to do civil disobedience in this strong way. I did it because my friends, some of them can't speak out if their property has been damaged by the fracking waste that's coming to their farm. They may have to be silent because they may have to sell their farm in order to move to other land. Um, I did it because I want more people to be raising sustainable food for us. You know, my business depends on sustainable food that is grown around here. And if my suppliers are picked off one by one by this bully of an industry, you know, I won't have anything left. And the tourists that come to Athens County specifically for, you know, the sustainable food culture that's been created here by so many businesses and farmers, you know, will be decimated. Um, so I did it to protect both my livelihood and to also because I feel like we have to act very strongly right now because we have so little time left to switch from this economy that's based on exploiting resources to a renewable economy. We have so little time left. I mean, the scientific papers I've been reading give us about three years. Three years left. 2017, if we haven't made huge strides in preventing catastrophic climate change by reducing our fossil fuel use, by changing our agricultural system. That's it. And so I happen to be here living at this time on this planet. And if I don't do everything I can right now, I am responsible for the people that come after me, including my niece and my friend's children that were out there at the, at the event that day. So I take that responsibility very seriously and I'm ashamed of the people that we've elected who are not taking that responsibility so seriously and who continue to go along with this illusion of gas is a bridge to the future when all scientific evidence has shown that it is not. It's a gangplank, you know, a dying industry we need to switch and so I'm doing everything I can um, which includes getting arrested to bring attention and to slow down this destructive industry and to make us transfer over to a way of life that works for everyone that we can live with so we were prepared to be arrested we kind of knew what what was possible. Um, we knew it, it was possible that we could go to jail. Um, but the, the actual moment of being arrested um, felt really calm. And um, I felt, I felt, uh, it's not proud, it's, um, Really, I don't know. I kind of felt like, uh, like I was 
doing a service, like I was, um, it was a religious feeling. You know, I'm not a religious person, but I have had that experience in my past, and I used to feel um, I used to feel this uh, great responsibility that didn't feel like a burden at all. It felt like, um, you know, I just feel uh, honored. It's a feeling of honor that I was able to do that for all those people that were there with us, to, you know, that day, and for all the people that couldn't be with us that day, and for all the generations that will hopefully come and be able to live on this planet like I've been able to and enjoy the, enjoy the beauty of it and the richness that we have. So it was a real honor. And just that, um, you know, it was a, something I had never experienced before. Um, it's probably not something that most people who have gotten arrested feel. <laughs> but I guess that made it all the more um, right. You know, it just felt like I was doing exactly the right thing 